Ever left the teenagers home alone for the weekend and come home to damage they are reluctant to explain? It's not as common as a hole caused by a door handle, but damage like this can happen. Ideally, if the hole is big enough, you'd like to cut it back to a stud on each side and replace it with a new piece of jib plasterboard. However, in this case, I'm going to cut it back to a stud on this side, insert a back block over here, and put a new patch in before plastering back to a paint finish. The first thing we want to do is mark and cut out the damaged area. Ideally we would have liked to cut this back to a stud on each side, but in this case there wasn't any need. We've got a stud on this side, but as we did with the earlier job, we're going to have to put a back block in here to support the back of our jib plasterboard patch. Once again, I've used jib trade set 20 on the back of the back block, all I have to do is slip it into position. The trade set on my back block is dried and I've cut a patch to fit nice and snugly into the hole. To fix it in place, I'm going to use some jib fix one adhesive. All I've got to do is apply a couple of dobs here to the stud and over here to the back block. Fit it into place and wait for it to dry and I can come back later and plaster over the joins. For holes larger than 300mm, Jim Fix One Adhesive needs to be placed at a maximum of 300mm centres. The glue is dry and the patch is secure. The next stage is going to be plastering the joints. For that I'm going to need a roll of jib paper tape and some Trade Set 20 that I've already mixed up. Using the broad knife, I want to apply some Trade Set 20 to the joints. Make sure the compound's worked properly into the joints and then put a length of paper tape into the joints using the broad knife, dragging it across the face of the tape to ensure there are no air bubbles underneath. When all the paper tape has been applied, go over it with a thin layer of trade set, again using the broad knife, to bed it properly into place. Remove any excess and then wait for it to dry. When the first coat of trade set 20 is dry, use the broad knife to remove any rough edges. Then apply a second coat of trade set using the broad knife to feather out the edges so the joints are about 250mm wide. Once this is dry, I'm going to come back, sand it and then apply a finishing coat. To finish the plastering part of this job, I'm going to use plus four and apply it to the entire patched area. However, before I do that, I want to take off any rough areas with my broad knife. Once that's done, all I have to do is apply plus four to the entire area, wait for it to dry, then sand and decorate. I'm pretty happy with that, it's nice and smooth. It's going to take about 24 hours for that to dry before I can sand it. I've waited 24 hours for the top coat of plaster to dry, now I'm going to sand it off and prepare for paint. Remember, where possible, wear a dust mask when sanding compound. Now I'm happy with the way the surface is sanded smooth, it's important to remember to brush off the dust before painting.
The surface is now all clean and free from dust, so I'm up to the final stage of the repair, painting. By the time that paint's dry, you wouldn't even know that repair was there.